Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. My name is Zarlin, and, um, basketball is a thing that exists. Look, I, I don't have a great way to intro this. I'm not a big basketball person, but March is officially here, and as a person who works at a restaurant close to where March Madness is held in my state, I'm quite aware of the fact that basketball is in fact a thing, and that some people like it. And there are a lot of basketball-based video games out there, most of them ending in the year that they have been released, and most of them just stick to being basketball. You know, like two teams trying to put the ball into the basket to score more points than the other team. But, um, what if there was a basketball game that took, like, the fundamentals of basketball and used them for something else, like, different, changed up the formula a little bit? Well, then you'd probably get Basket Bell, the game I'm talking about today. Now, Basket Bell is a game about a brother who is teaching his younger sister about basketball in Paris, France. And uh, while they are playing, the ball goes off into the bushes, the older brother goes to get it, and when he gets out of the bushes, sister's gone. Nowhere to be found. A little concerning if you're an older brother, but, you know. He goes off searching for her, and while searching, he is confronted by purple blob monster things. That's the best way I can describe it. They're just big purple blobs. And the brother must go through many hoops. And beat multiple purple monsters to find his sister and bring her home. Not a very complicated story. And, uh, this game, instead of just playing a game of basketball with the purple monster, which you do a couple times, but, uh, you are faced with many different kinds of challenges. At one point, you are swallowed by one of the monsters and have to complete multiple, like, platforming puzzles based around getting around obstacles in the monster's stomach to get the ball into the monster's stomach hoop. Yeah. Another time, a monster will grab you with its tentacle and you have to try and use tethering kind of physics to get around obstacles to get the ball into the hoop and it's it's basically a puzzle platformer and it's very interesting game design that takes elements of basketball and uses them in a way that you might not think of now those are really quick synopsis of the story and the gameplay uh and the music is music is quite quite lovely there's not a whole lot to the music but the more action that's happening on screen and the closer you get the ball to the hoop in your hands or by shooting it the uh, more amped up the the music gets it's more exciting the closer you get to the hoop it feels really good when you just go up for that slam dunk and you hear the music rise and you go whoosh i don't know what else i can really say then it feels really satisfying the way the music works and with the gameplay i really have no complaints that i can levy against the soundtrack it may be simple, but it does its job quite well. Now, all the things that I'm saying that are interesting about the game, uh, there is one thing that a lot of people would probably say detracts from it, and that's from the length, but I actually like the length of this game, personally. I did finish a single playthrough in under an hour, but uh, unlike some games that have come out recently that are super short, this one only costs five bucks. I can kind of get behind the fact of a really short game for really cheap, that's one of the main reasons behind why a lot of people have been on recent games for game length is because they're really short, cost a lot of money, and there's no reason to play them again. That's the real sticking point. And Basketball actually does have reasons to play it again. There are multiple endings, and uh, granted an hour playthrough to get each ending, that adds two more extra hours for all three endings. So you know, it's not that bad. I quite enjoy this, and uh, it's nice to see a cheap game that may be short, but does at least have some replayability instead of none at all. Anyways, Basketball gets a big recommendation from me, and it's actually gotten a lot of recommendation from many other sources. Uh, it won multiple awards at different indie showcases, and I honestly believe it deserves it. It's a basketball game that focuses more on how a common interest can bring a family together than the actual sport. 
and uh, it's a basketball game that shows that you don't need to just be two teams facing off against each other. You can strip it down and kind of make it different. You can take the core concept and change it so it's different enough, but yet still close enough to the original concept, if you understand what I'm saying. Overall, it's a great game that I feel like you should experience whether you like basketball or not, because I'm not really a fan of basketball. But uh, anyways, that's been Basket Bell, and I've been Zarlin, and uh, I'm out. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I am once again Zarlin, and I want to thank you for watching my Basket Bell review. Um, I want to apologize for the fact that it's been a while since I released a video. You can pretty much chalk that up to uh, being busy at work and at school and joining a raiding guild and WoW and being lazy and mostly being lazy. And I greatly apologize for that. I try and pump out more videos. It all depends on my inspiration. I try and follow a schedule, but inspiration kind of has to strike me. One thing is, if you do want more Zarlin for whatever reason, if you're crazy or whatever, I do stream a lot. I'll be streaming more at twitch.tv slash Gaming. I've got the uh, Music Monday series that if you're not there, you're not going to get it anywhere else because Twitch blocks it and I'm not putting up on YouTube because all the songs are copyright. Basically, Music Monday is I play Guitar Heroes and Rock Bands. I'm starting from the beginning and moving all the way up until I run out of music games. But we've already beaten Guitar Hero 1 and we have moved on to Guitar Hero 2. So that's a thing. And, uh, yeah. Wednesdays will become... WoW Wednesdays, where that rating that I talked about will be streamed. And I haven't decided exactly what's going to happen on Friday, but it's most likely just going to be a random game that I'm playing. Lately, I've been doing Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I haven't been doing it on stream, that's just the game I've been playing. I might even be playing the next game for a review or whatever on that. I don't even really want to call them reviews, but next game I'm going to make a video about might be on stream. Who knows? It's just kind of random, I want to play this game, and if you want to watch it, you can, kind of thing. Other than that, I might do more random streams besides the ones on Fridays. Uh, the times will be on the screen and in the description for each of the streams. I'm going to try and start each stream at the same time. So yeah, other than that... I want to thank you once again for watching this video, and any other videos you may want to watch on my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, YouTube sellout, bullcrap, and all that junk. And, uh, I will see you in the next video.